Bonjour, friends. Okay, the next items I wanted to share with you are from the Goodwill Thrift Store, and I have got quite a few things from there, so I will try to move through them as quickly as possible. Okay, so for my first item, I found the Cedar uh, Topiary, and um, it was $5.99, if you can see that. And I wish there would have been two of these. Um, I would have loved to have a, a set, a pair of them. That would have been neat to find too. So um, I'll be on the hunt maybe for a second one so I can have two of these. I think it'd be really nice at Christmas, although um, since it's cedar, but I'm sure you could probably be fine to leave it out all year round as well. So um, yeah, I thought that was a good find. Okay, so for my next item, I think it might have originally came from Target, but I'm not sure. It's pretty tall, it's hard to get all on camera, but it looks like to me like a um, eucalyptus uh, that we have here in California. So I think it's a eucalyptus uh, faux plant, or maybe it was supposed to be like an olive um, plant. I'm not sure, but there is no olives on it. And I picked this one up for $3.99. And it didn't have its original tag on it, so I'm not sure, like I said, where it originally came from. But um, I love to pick up um, these sort of things when I see them because um, I like to find nice, um, full-looking plants that are inexpensive. And I may end up selling that one in, at the shop. I'm not sure yet. And the next items I want to share with you are um, pottery, like vases or crocs, whatever you want to call them. And um, of course, I love this one because it is a French one. And I love anything that's French. <laughs> you guys know that about me already. And I love the color of this one. And um, and what looks like to be like uh, stenciling on here. And I thought it was really pretty. And um, I cannot remember if I showed this to you guys already or not, but I wanted to make sure I showed it to you in case I hadn't already. And I picked that one up at Goodwill for $4, and the original price is still on the bottom for $29. And I went ahead and just stuck some um, florals in here. And uh, to give you an idea of what it looks like, although it's hard to get the whole thing in camera. And I still have my tag on the florals. <laughs> so ignore that. Um, and then I just stuck a little, a little even a little um, olive branch in here with it just to see i was just kind of playing around with it earlier to see what that would look like okay and the next pottery vase that i have is really neat um, i liked the black because i do have the black and cream twall and the stripes in my bedroom so this may go in my bedroom but i'm not sure yet and i picked this one up for 3.99 it's hard to see the tags so I'll just show you it was um, for $3.99 and then it has the original price um, still on the bottom here from Pottery Barn that I'll show you I think it says $59 yeah $59 was the original price on that one and um, I had picked these up from TJ Maxx because um, I thought they might look nice in it but I actually might need more um, to make it look fuller but just to give you an idea of what that looks like. It's hard to get it all in camera because <laughs> it's so big and tall. And then I found another one at Goodwill. It was like, it was like somebody donated all of these. <laughs> it's because I usually never find um, that many at one time, but I found another one and I love the distressed look on this one. And uh, this one was $5.99. And I went ahead and stuck some uh, raspberry stems that I already had in there just to see what that would look like because I do have the red and cream twall curtains. Um, and so I thought the pops of red would be nice in my house if I decide to keep this. And for summer, I thought the raspberries looked really neat down inside of it, sticking out of it. So um, there was no um, original price on the bottom. So I'm not sure where this one originally had come from, but I really like it. I think this one's really neat too. So I'm a little obsessed with um, Crocs right now, as you can see. Okay, the next item I found was this candle and I'm always on the lookout. If I see new candles, I will get them if I like the smell. 
and everything and I really like the smell of this one it smells really good wish I had um, smell of vision for you guys so you could smell it too and uh, this one is called turquoise waters and it was originally from world market and the original price is still in the bottom for $14.99 if you can see that it's small down there and then I paid $2.99 for it so I thought that was a good price for um, a brand new candle and um, so yeah, I love candles. And in fact, I don't think I ever told you guys that my mom and I used to have a candle company together. And so we both love candles. So yeah, I love it when you find them um, brand new at the Goodwill. So my next item, I actually bought um, one of these before. You guys saw it, it was a much larger one than this one. This one is not as large as the other one that I bought. But um, my son accidentally broke my other one um, and it fell on the tile and our tile floor. If anything falls on it, it usually breaks. It's so, such a hard floor. So um, I picked this one up and I'm thinking about putting um, my bubble bath in it and um, putting it next to my tub uh, so it's in close uh, reach. And um, this one uh, I picked up for $2.99. And I just love these little um, Eiffel Tower bottles when I find them I usually can't resist them <laughs> okay this next item I picked up I have one very similar to this uh, on my nightstand next to my bed and um, I found this one at the thrift store and the other one I found at the antique shop and uh, there are, the clock itself is made in West Germany and then the crystal is made in France and um, like I said, this one is very similar to one I already have. So I'll probably be selling this one um, at the shop. And I picked this one up for $2.99 at the thrift store. And I thought that was a good price for this. I need to put in a new battery for that. And um, this one actually matches, but it's actually like a little trinket box. So you could put like your little earrings or jewelry at the end of the night when you take them off and you could set this, you know, you could have this sitting on your nightstand or whatnot, just put little things in it or it'd be perfect for putting your little earbuds in something like that. But I thought this was really pretty and it coordinated and matched, um, I thought nicely with this clock. So I thought that was, um, they were both really pretty, the crystal. And uh, I love the gold as well on there. And this was $2.99 at the thrift store. Okay, my next items, you know that I cannot resist me some copper, right? <laughs> I love my copper. And I thought these were so cute. Um, they're little, um, little measuring, little measuring scoops. And I picked that up for $3.99 at the thrift store. I think they're measuring scoops. They have a little spout on them, so I think that's what they're used for. I'm not sure. They almost look like little um, copper pans, but um, I think they were for measuring, but you know what? Maybe they're not because they don't have anything inside with measurements or anything, so I'm not sure. Well, hold on. Does it say? Oh, it does say on the bottom. It does have the measurements on the bottom. Okay, so this is one cup. So yeah, they are for measurements. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that though. I don't know if you can see it. It's super small, so it's in the center. It's got a stamp on it. So they are for measuring. I thought so because they do have that little, the little pour spout on them, if you can see that small. So I really like that, the copper and then the brass handles. I thought these were super cute and there was three of them in the set. Another copper item that I found at the thrift store was this really nice uh, strainer. And um, I didn't have a large one. I have a small one like this, but it's really small. And um, I wanted a larger one, a copper one. So I was very excited to find this. And I got it for $2.99. If you can see the price on there, I'm not sure if you can see that. But um, yeah, I like the brass handles and the copper. You guys know I love my copper pots and pans and things. So now I have a large strainer. So excited about that. 
Okay, my next item is this cute rooster. And you guys know I love my roosters too, my chickens and roosters. And um, this one was uh, really nice. I like, it has kind of a crackled finish on it, if you can tell um, on camera, I'm not sure. And this one was $3.99. And I'm not sure if I will keep, oops, it's upside down. I'm not sure if I'll keep this one or resell it. I'll probably resell it because I have quite a few myself already. But I just thought that was really nice and neutral colored. So um, neutral colored things uh, tend to sell pretty quickly at the shop. The next item I bought has a little copper base to it and a glass bowl on top. And I don't know what this was originally used for. Maybe like a little candy dish or something. But I had picked up one of these before um, and showed it to you guys. And I sold it super fast at the Great Junk Hunt show that I did um, back in December in Ventura, California. And so um, I thought I would go ahead and pick this up because um, whether I keep it or resell it, I know the first one I bought sold really fast, like I said, so I can always resell this one too. And I got this one for $3.99 at the thrift store. Okay, the next item I picked up was this really neat brass um, little swag, uh, looks like a little swag kind of bow to me on top here. And then it's got this netted uh, metal mesh down here at the bottom. And then it came with this little glass uh, vase to stick down inside. I guess you could use it or you could um, not use it if you didn't want to. You could do it either way. And um, this was uh, $3.99 at the thrift store, but it was originally from um, the Bombay company, it says on the bottom. And it says $19.92. Well, if you can see that it's I don't know I think my phone's getting blurry I don't know if you can see that or not I don't know if it's staying focused but uh, do y'all remember um, the Bombay company um, I don't know if you do or not but I do it was in the mall and um, they sold home decor items and uh, so yeah that is from there and so this is a vintage item I think it would be considered vintage um, now uh, I don't know would 1992 be considered vintage? I don't know. You let me know. I don't know if that's old enough to be considered vintage, but to me, um, it is older. And I thought that, I just thought it was neat though, because, um, I love the antique gold color of the brass. So, um, and it's got nice, um, weight to it. So I thought that was cute. These next items are candle related. I, um, love candles and candle holders. And so um, I love this brass one that has this little lever on the side here that you can move up as your candle burns down. And this one I picked up for $2.99. And then I also found this brass um, candle snuffer. It's really nice and heavy, has some nice weight to it. Um, it was 99 cents and I still need to clean off the wax Still has some candle wax on there but um, I'll get that cleaned up and I thought that was neat it um, goes nicely with this little candle holder too I think and then I also found this antique gold looking um, candle holder with the little handle on the side here and this one was $2.99 and I just love the ones with the handles on the sides it just I don't know I love it um, just kind of reminds me of the older uh, movies um, like uh, Pride and Prejudice, uh, you know, Little Women and um, those types of movies where they would use the candles and um, as uh, she was uh, writing the book, her book, she was using uh, candlelight and as when they would, um, usually in those older movies too, they're using these type to walk to their bedroom so they can see um, their way to their room at night and things by candlelight. So yeah, I love um, these candle holders. I picked up two more of these candle holders with the little handles on them. I just love them. And uh, I'll probably be reselling some of them. So um, deciding what I'll keep and what I will resell, I guess. I also picked up this brass little, um, I don't know what you call it, it looks like a bow but it looks like it has a hole here and a hole on the other side so you could attach it to something. 
but I'm not really sure what it was originally used for, but I thought this was really neat and I picked that up for $2.99. I am loving gold, as you guys can tell. I keep showing all this uh, gold things. And this one, I love this little shelf. Such a cute little shelf because um, it reminds me of a French chair. Just I think it's because these curvy little legs on here. And uh, you know, I love anything French. So like I said earlier, and um, I picked this shelf up for $2.99 and it has the little hangers on the back. So yeah, I just thought this was an adorable little shelf. Okay, the next few items that I found uh, at the thrift store were these really pretty red and cream transfer wear dishes, a uh, little tiny saucer and uh, teacups. And I found a set of six of the plates and then also six of the little teacups. And it has the strawberries on there. I just thought these were so pretty. So neat for summer with the little strawberries on there. And they have the little strawberries inside the little teacup as well. And um, these were 99 cents each. And the plates were 99 cents each. And like I said, I got a set of six, six plates and six little teacups. And these are uh, made in England. And then um, it is made uh, by Johnson Brothers. If you can see that okay. I also picked up these little saucers. They didn't have little teacups with them, but I just thought they were really pretty too. And I just couldn't resist them. <laughs> these were $1.99 each. And I just love the scenery that these uh, transferware plates always have on them. And these were um, also made in England. They're the Royal Tudor Wear Old England Barker Brothers uh, plates. If you can see that okay. And there was a set of five of these all together. So I went ahead and grabbed all of those. Although I probably um, will be reselling these because I have um, so many transfer wear red and cream plates that I have collected already myself that I have in my French country cupboard. And um, I just love them though. So I will be reselling these. And I'm sure um, a collector will be very happy to um, come across these at the shop. I also picked up this little cute pitcher, um, ironstone pitcher made in England and it is the Snow White Regency Johnson Brothers made in England. And it had a little chip on it, but I didn't care about that because it was only 99 cents. So that was okay with me. I'm gonna clean it up. It's really dirty, but I'm gonna clean it and uh, resell it at the shop. I just uh, always love Ironstone and I've always been um, a big fan of pitchers, uh, white pitchers, ironstone pitchers. So um, I'm sure that um, someone else will think it's uh, a cutie as well. Okay, we're almost done with my thrift haul. I have a few more things to show you after this item. And I just thought this was really neat. It's a wood bowl in an oval shape with the green moss inside of it. And this was originally from Target. It still had the original threshold tag on the bottom here and it was $35 originally at Target and uh, I picked it up for uh, $2.99 at the thrift store. So I thought that was really neat item. I'm very excited um, about this one. It's black and cream twall and it is a tablecloth. At first I thought maybe it was a curtain when I saw it. And I just love the animals on here. It has the sheep and different farm animals on here. Love it. I can't even show you the whole thing because it's so huge. But um, it is, let me find the label on it. I realized that it was a tablecloth when I saw the tag on here. It's uh, 68 inches by 108 inches and it's from Williams Sonoma and um, it was made in Italy. It's 100% cotton 
And yeah, it's a beautiful uh, tablecloth. And you all know that I love twall <laughs> fabric. And so even if I don't use it as a tablecloth, I thought I could even use it as a curtain. Um, you know, you could even make pillows with this. You could do anything with it. So I thought uh, it was a great find for me. I love uh, wooden peg racks, even though this one was not a color um, I would have chosen. But uh, I, I'm thinking this will be really nice after I paint it. And I can either um, use this in my own home or uh, hang it up at the shop so that I can hang stuff from the little wooden pegs um, at the shop. And I picked this up for $2.99 at the thrift store. Okay guys, sorry, I thought I only had a few items left but I keep finding more items here at my feet in the Goodwill bags. <laughs> and so this next item I found, I really like this um, vintage gold frame. So I'll probably put a different picture inside of the frame. And then it came with this easel. And I got both of them for $2.99. And I thought that was a good price for the frame and the easel. The next thing I picked up was this hanging faux plant with the succulents in it. And I think the succulents will look really nice for summertime in my booth space at the shop. I always like to add touches of greenery in my booth space, especially around summertime. And uh, this one I picked up for $2.99. Okay, these next few items were a little bit larger, so I just wanted to be able to put the camera on these larger items so you could see the whole item. And uh, with me holding it up, I wasn't sure if I would get it all on camera. So this first one uh, is super cute with all these little cubbies. And I really thought the numbers underneath each cubby were adorable on here. And I picked this one up for $4.99 at the Goodwill. I thought that was a really good price for this piece and I was thinking how cute would like a collection of small ironstone pitchers or any small collection would be really cute displayed in this cabinet I thought and I ended up just setting these little teacups on here so I didn't forget to share these with you because I almost forgot about these little guys and I picked up two of these for 99 cents each thought they were beautiful with the white and the gold and they are made in France. I thought it would be so nice if there was more of these but there was only a set of two so I ended up getting them and they were in uh, perfect condition, no chips or anything. The next larger item I got was this large basket and I believe it was probably used as like a laundry basket and I picked that up for $4.99. I thought it was in really good condition and I'm thinking of maybe putting it on top of my large armor in my bedroom but I'm not sure yet we'll see I just wanted to mention really quick that if you haven't seen part one please go back and watch part one of this video the video was just getting too long so I split it up into two separate videos for you so um, I had a very large haul that was from different stores. So anyway, I hope that uh, you will go back and watch that. And I appreciate you watching this one as well. Okay, friends, that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, au revoir.